Hey guys, I hope you had an excellent day at school or work or wherever you were today. I know I certainly had a great day. I'm recording this video in the afternoon and I'm sitting in front of the window in my dining room and I love this view. It has a great view of the street that I live on and it's just like extra peaceful. So I'm totally in the zone right now. But the reason for this video is I wanted to talk to you about my curls. Look at them. They are doing the freaking thing right now. And the reason for this video is Kinky Curly Knot today. I have finally had the opportunity to use it and I wanted to give you guys my review of this product. Um, first, let's start off with my shampoo because I did wash my hair. I used Elasta QP Cream Conditioning Shampoo and the reason I did use this is because I had like some gel and some pomade in my hair because I wore my hair slicked back yesterday. So I needed to wash all that hair product out so I used Elasta QP and this is a sulfate free shampoo so if you're on the curly girl method then it's safe to use this product. After that I co-washed with VO5 Tea Therapy Nourishing Conditioner and I just I co-washed for good measure. Back before I knew that shampoo was drying for my hair, I used to shampoo, lather, repeat. And instead of doing the repeat, I just co-washed for my second, for my second wash. So yeah, this is what I used for the co-wash. And then I um, let my hair drip dry. I didn't towel dry it or anything. I just kind of let it do its thing. And I actually detangled in the shower with the VO5 conditioner. So it was already pretty much detangled when I added my Kinky Curly. And I just sectioned my hair into probably about five or six sections. And I used my Tangle Teaser to detangle it. And I did finger coils. Now these are not like the finger coils that I did in the previous video because those were like big, thick finger coils, like probably about the size of my pinky finger. These were like tiny, tiny, tiny finger coils like when you pull one you can see how skinny they really really are I've used very very small pieces of hair to do these finger coils and the reason for that is so that I didn't have to separate them the next day when I do the chunky coils it's nice because it only takes me about 35 40 minutes to do it but then the next day I have to spend an hour separating the coils no ma'am no sir no how as my mama would say I'm not doing that no more so I prefer to do them in these smaller coils, even though it does take longer. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes to do all these coils. It's better that I don't have to fool with my hair again on the next day. I just like to do all my hair steps in one day and just kind of let it go. Um, so yeah, and you can see how much product I use. I would estimate that at being maybe three tablespoons of product and that's for my entire head and I have shoulder length hair so that is a lot of product but at the same time it's really effective like it, it works really really well it smells great um, my curl definition is crazy I know it's really hard to see because my hair is so dark but I have ridiculous curl definition like they're so defined and they're not hard at all like it is it is as soft as you can possibly imagine curls being. This morning, I sprayed my hair with Organic Root Stimulator Nature Shine. I did not bring that bottle in here, so I can't show you what it looks like. Um, but that's what, I, that's what I sprayed my hair with, and that's it. Just Kinky Curly and the oil spray. Boom. The easiest thing ever. I can't say enough good things about this product. If you have not tried it yet, you really, really should. Um, I'm going to let one of my coworkers borrow this. She also has curly hair. She's Caucasian, but her, her, her curls are looser, a lot looser than mine. Um, but it says that it works for even, you know, wavy hair. I imagine you probably need to use less if your hair wasn't um, coarse or tightly curly. But yes, I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Another reason why um, I'm having the best day ever is because I got to debut my feather earrings. Oh my gosh. 
I love feather earrings. I'm like obsessed with them right now. I don't know why. Hold on, let me sit back so you can see them better. Is that better? They're so freaking awesome. What I did was I bought some feathers from the hair store. Don't ask me why my local hair store sells feathers, but they do. And um, I had this earring that already had all these tears on it. Here, let's flip it on the back side so you can see the tears. And I just used O-rings and attached the feathers at each different level. And then I let that little ball stay in there because I felt like it was kind of cool. So yes, these are my feather earrings and everybody's been jocking and asking me where I got them, but um, they're Shamika Green Originals. Uh, the face of the day. Today, I did not do a video tutorial. I'm sorry, you guys. I had to get to work early this morning, so I didn't have time to record. But I used my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, which is one of my favorites. And I did a chocolatey, smoky eye. And I used these two colors, this um, shimmery, I don't know what you would call it. It's like a shimmery chocolate color, shimmery bronzy chocolate color. And then I also used this matte dark brown to shade it on the outside. And then on my tear duct and my brow bone, I use this camel color that I murder weekly. But look, I still have some left. I use it all the time. When, uh, when this runs out, I promise you guys I'll get a new one. And you probably noticed I have green um, eyeliner on my waterline. And I have finally had the opportunity to use my Ruby Kisses Cosmetics um, gel liner. It's HD gel liner. I'm trying to move my fingers out of the way so you can read it. But anyway, um, I finally had the opportunity to use that. I used the teal one in my video for lightning and thunder. And um, this is the green one. I think it's called green shimmer or something like that. But anyway, so this is the face. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you like that. Um, the rest of the face is pretty simple. I think I used Forever Fig on my cheeks as I usually do. as like a purpley blush and on my lips, um, Estee Lauder in Rose. So, you know, the, the products that I typically use. But I mostly just wanted to share with you guys the beauty and the wonder and the magic of Kinky Curly Knot today. You so need to buy it. It was completely worth the $11.00. 99 cent or whatever I spent on it is worth it. It's worth it. And I would buy it again and I'd buy it for a friend. But I'm not going to buy it for you. You're going to have to get your own bottle. I'll talk to you guys later.